and welcome, and I can't believe I just bought this game, <laughs> considering Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro is out. But guys, I thought I would do a few bits of Let's Play of Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. And I bought a few DLCs as well. I bought about 20 quid worth of DLC. You can actually spend, I think, close to about 80 quid of DLC on this game. Um, I chose not to do that. I chose to pick the best of the DLC that I like. So, for example... I like the original Yugi anime and GX and a bit of 5Ds, so I bought those. Uh, I bought those, but we're gonna play. Uh, we're gonna play now, and I'm in windowed uh, because I need to be to play the game. And uh, we shall now see. Maybe I can even make it a little bit bigger than that. Like that. Oh, okay. Well, we need to just uh, hang on. Cash. There we go. All right. Let's let's do this. Single player campaign. So we've got Yu-Gi-Oh. We've got GX, 5D, Zexel, and Arc V. Um, if this is popular enough, I'll play through all of them, obviously. Uh, but we're going to start off with Yu-Gi-Oh, obviously. Uh, to the Duelist Kingdom. Okay. Um, loading Yu-Gi-Oh! Histories. The story of Yu-Gi-Oh! Moto begins at Domino High School, where Duel Monsters, the hottest card game in the world, was all the rage. Yu-Gi was the best duelist around, and his friend Jerry wanted desperately to learn how to duel as well. So in our history, Yugi Moto starts with Yugi teaching the rules of Duel Monsters to Joey as their friends Taya and Tristan watch. Hey Joey, it's your turn. Um. Oh, isn't he cute when he's thinking? I'm trying to do the voices as best I can, guys. <laughs> hey Tristan, Yugi here is trying to teach me how to play Duel Monsters. <laughs> Drooling monsters. Do monsters, you nimrod! <laughs> They've been at it for hours! Joey's starting to get the hang of this game, but Yugi's like an expert! Okay, Yugi, it's time to duel! Okay. Oh, I got a mask change. Oh, they've, they've got they've got all of the, the cards here. Okay, I, I actually know how to play Yu-Gi-Oh, so I really don't need to read any of this. Alright, this should be... I have won! Yes, I win! Joey, you suck. How do you feel now? And now I have to <laughs> come over here and be like, what? <laughs> what? A card that powerful totally wipes me out. Whoa, you stink at this game, Joey. You did fine, Joey. I just have better cards. My grandpa owns a game shop, and all I get my and I get all my best cards from him. Your own game shop? What are we waiting for? Let's go. Okay. Maybe I can even get my grandpa to show this super rare card he's got. Little did they know, someone was listening in on their conversation. Kaiba in his battle city attire. <laughs> Yay! Look at all the stuff we unlocked. Signature card, we got Axe Raider, we got a Battle Ox, we got... We can duel as Joey. Press number three to try it out. This deck is... Uh, pretty... Yeah, I love the fact it says Legacy of the Duelist in every single card thing, so that I, nobody can copy what the card is, and um, because they're high res versions of the cards. Okay, we could probably make up 329 cards. We could probably make ourselves a much better deck, but I shall do that another time. We've got Masked Hero Diane, Masked Hero Divine Wind, and we've got Mask Change as well, which is super powerful card, and three Polys. We are sorted when it comes to. Uh, Fusions. Yu-Gi-Oh! Okay. Heart of the cards. Here we go. Rare card? You mean my special card? Please, please. How could I refuse? Your kids are in for a treat. I don't take this card out too often. Oh, it's it's the blue eyes white dragon. It's the blue eyes white dragon. How lovely. I, I'm going to skip through all this and we're going to get to the duel. Basically, this billionaire kid takes... Uh... Kaiba, Kaiba basically kidnaps him. Oh, we'll use the story deck, why not? Um, Kaiba kidnaps the grandpa and then duels him. And because he duels him, his grandpa faints. It's very weird. Um, I'm guessing Exodia is in this deck. We're going to try and see if we can beat him with Exodia. For those of you who don't know, Exodia wins the whole game for you. Okay, I just realized something. There are new rules. Of course there are. But the original game didn't use the rules. On your first turn, you can only... Um, on your first turn... 
you're not allowed to draw a card. Uh, which it used to be allowed to draw a card every turn, but now on your first turn you can't draw a card. I did not realise that this game used the updated rules. I use the updated rules all the time because I play a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro. However, I, I wasn't aware that uh, that would happen. By the way, we're going to absolutely smash Kyber this time because we've just drew two Heart of the Underdogs. Um, basically, Heart of the Underdog, uh, what it does is um, every time you draw a monster that's a normal monster, which doesn't have an effect, you can draw another card. And because we've got two, you can basically almost infinitely draw cards. It's it's ridiculous. Uh, let's not activate an effect. We're just going to uh, watch what happens with Heart of the Underdog. Here we go. You ready? Yes, activate the effect of Heart of the Underdog. And I'll also activate the Heart of the Other Underdog as well. And we will not chain another card effect. And we drew two more cards, so we activate the Heart of the Underdog. Yep. <laughs> oh, and we'll activate the Heart of the Underdog again. Uh, what about that? <laughs> Get to draw another two cards. One, <laughs> two... <laughs> Oh, yeah, we'll activate the effect of the... Oh, because we, we drew... Um... Hang on. Uh, I can only activate Spellbinding Circle. I don't want to do that. Oh, uh, well, we, that's, uh, that's not bad. It's not bad. We've got Dark Hole, and we've got six cards in our hand. We'll build up our defense, I think. No, don't activate any effects. Just, just change the defense position. There we go. No, stop asking me if I want to activate Spellbinding Circle. I clearly don't want to. End the phase. No, don't. Don't activate Spellbinding Circle. For God's sake, this is the one thing that annoys me about Yu-Gi-Oh! You can't just be like... Come on. Okay. Ancient, okay, ancient rules already, which means we've already got a blue eyes. But that's okay. Um, because I'm going to activate Spellbinding Circle. Boom. Oh, any, any. Oh, clever. Clever. But. That's okay. Okay. We can Graceful Charity. I like to the effect of Graceful Charity. Oh, we've got an Exodia piece. Okay, we've got to discard something from my hand now. Uh, Rue Kaiser, you can go away. And what, whatever that thing is. I don't want that either. Uh, we will activate Pot of Greed. Oh, we got ourselves a Dark Magician. Which is good. Uh, I got really nothing to defend myself against that Sword Stalker, though. Unless I activate Swords of Revealing Light. Oh, ho, ho, ho. yes, indeed. Now they can't attack, which is great. And I'm going to summon this bad boy here. And we will summon Dark Magician on our next turn. And we'll actually use him as a defense rather than an attack. We'll keep him in attack mode. But we will use him as a, a defensive uh, means. So hopefully he doesn't summon a second blue eyes. Otherwise I'm going to have to dark hole everything. This might be sounding confusing to those guys who've never played Yu-Gi-Oh. It's making perfect sense to me. Oh, stop defense. Well, that was a bit pointless because you're not attacking, are you? Oh, you'll activate Heart of the Underdog. <laughs> and we'll activate another heart at the underdog. <laughs> uh, Gift of the Mystical Elf. Yeah, you can ha you can have those life points, Kyber. I'm not interested in your life points. I am interested in drawing Exodia pieces. And we can activate heart of the underdog again. Woo! Yes. Come on, give me more Exodia pieces, baby. One, two. Oh, we've got Snatch Steel as well. Activate heart of the underdog again. Yes, please. Yes, activate Heart of the Underdog. I'm going to have... If Exodia is at the bottom of the deck, I might have a problem here. <laughs> if something goes wrong and he, like, hand discards or something, that would be terrible. Uh, okay, right. First things first. Right, we don't want to use Snatch Steel because that's going to be the, our last slot there. Or should we? Now nah, we'll just summon Dark Magician. Yeah, we'll... we'll... Goodbye, Soldier of Stone. Goodbye, Winged Dragon Guardian of the Fortress number one. Hello, Dark Magician. Uh, you know what, screw it. We'll actually activate that. We'll get ourselves a Snatch Steel. Woo! Uh, we are only two Exodia pieces away from winning. We just need the legs, man. Um, I, I'm i going to have to throw away so many cards in a second. Because you're only allowed six cards in your hands at once. 
So I'm going to have to discard. I'll keep one Dark Hole. I don't need to. I'll get rid of Gaia and Celtic Guardian and Feralin, probably. All right, battle phase time. We just need to kind of make sure we... Uh, uh, I'll destroy you. Oh, negate attack. Come on. Uh, we've got to be careful with Wall of Illusion, though. Because... Well, we, what we can do is we can attack with uh, Sword Stalker, and then Sword Stalker will turn to his hand. He'll summon it in the next turn using this monster here, and then we attack with Dark Magician. That's what we do. Okay. All right, let's end the turn. Watch how many cards I have to throw away. All right, we'll uh, get rid of Gaia, because he's too powerful. Celtic Guardian. I'm going to keep Soldier. Uh, we'll actually get rid of Griffel and one Dark Hole. There we go. Woo! Yeah, you get yourself a thousand life points, mate. You see how little I care about your life points. Okay. Yeah, activate Heart of the Underdog, baby. Ha 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 ha. Is that Mammoth Graveyard? I haven't seen that card in years. Oh, man. I think I have it, though. I do think I have it in my um, thing. Oh, we got Sangin. That's amazing. I, I realize that there's no there's like there's no ban list when you're using like um your own deck. Sangin is like properly banned at the moment because he is um he's got an awesome effect and he's been out for ages. Um, one Karibo Monster Reborn. Ugh. Okay, uh, let's. Uh, what are we gonna do here? Wow. Uh, Sangin, this card sent to the graveyard, from the field to the graveyard. Uh, one monster with 1,500 from your deck to your hand, but it cannot activate cards uh, or affect cards with the name of the rest of this turn. So yeah, it's super, super awesome. So we're going to put that down there. Um, we're going to go to our battle phase. We will attack. No, we will attack this bad boy here. Wall of Illusion. Yeah, you go straight back to the hand, mate. See how little I care about this. Ooh, Trap Master. Oh, he's got to get rid of that trap. And then Dark Magician. Oh, we've actually got an animation. That's pretty sick. Check that out. Woo! He's got one card in the field, one card in his hand, which we know what it is. And we're going to have to end the turn again. Uh, or we can Monster Reborn. What can we Monster Reborn? To strengthen our defenses. There's nothing here that I really want to Monster Reborn. Actually, we could, uh, next turn, we will Dark Hole. And that will give us our Sangin uh, effect to get Exodia, one of our Exodia pieces out. And uh, it will get rid of that card. In fact, let's do it now, actually. Let's do it now. Let's go to our main phase two. We'll activate Dark Hole. Sangin activates. We will get out our Exodia piece. Activate Monster Reborn. I think it's GG next game. Anyway, I think I've actually won. Which is great. We'll get our Dark Magician back again. Monster Reborn, by the way. Insane. I should have used Monster Reborn to uh, get back um, Blue Eyes. But it's Yugi's staple of his deck. Why not use Dark Magician? Even if it is the wrong artwork. And end our turn right there. Now we're going to have to throw away all the cards. So we're going to get rid of Horn Imp. So we don't need that. I kind of want to keep Mammoth Graveyard. Because it's... Uh, well, I, I might have no choice. We'll get rid of Feral Imp. This Mammoth Graveyard was famously used to... Uh, well, yeah, we're going to have to discard it. Uh, Mammoth Graveyard was famously used against his blue eyes in the most cheating duel I've ever seen in my life on Yu-Gi-Oh! The Animated Series. Okay, it's my draw phase. We've got Swords, which is not, not great. <laughs> uh, we may as well activate Swords, though. And we'll set Soldier of Stone. And we will end our turn there. End phase. Boom! Give me Kaye, motherfucker. I was expecting to win then, because uh, of the power of underdog. Um, it doesn't matter about those two cards. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna bother about those two cards. They could be any traps you want them to be, mate. Ah, we win. We won by Exodia. Oh, and we got an achievement. There was an achievement for it. Forbidden one. Fantastic. I, I should show you before. It, ah, it's gone already. But there was an achievement down here that said forbidden one. You only pay for power, Kaiba. That is why you lost. But if you put your heart in the game, there's nothing you can do. The results of the duel sped quickly, and mysterious one-eyed man gets news of Yugi's victory. Hmm, it seems that Kaiba Boy has been defeated in a duel. I must learn more about this Yugi Moto. Fantastic! So we've unlocked some new cool stuff. Uh, we've also got um, 
Saggy the Dark Clown, uh, which is pretty cool. Guys, I'm going to end the video here. If you enjoyed the video, then make sure you leave a like on this video. And if you want me to do I might do I'm going to do another two of these videos. But uh, let's try and get, let's think, let's try and get 30 likes on this video. If we get 30 likes, I'll upload another one pretty soon. Okay, okay guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. We've got some more stuff with Daz coming soon as well. I'll see you then. Bye-bye. And I will do some proper Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duels so you guys actually get to watch me play. Because I'm loving Yu-Gi-Oh! right now, guys. I'm absolutely loving it. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty awesome. Anyway, we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.